he's not the brightest, uh, he's not the happiest guy in the world because he's lost his wife. And, um, and I guess, you know, he, he curses a lot because he's pissed off, basically. And trying to, trying to kind of keep, keep himself, uh, keep himself, I think his, his humor, his dark humor, kind of saves him from being too depressed about everything. Because the world that he is dealing with is, is not, uh, not the happy camper world. It's dark, it's dark. And I love it there, it's great. My challenge for it basically was to at least get in, get a human, a little more human depth in it, a little more humor, and uh, some sort of a some sort of a character. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man! I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. As an actor, what can I bring to this that nobody else can? Basically, I need to force you out. I it was great. Fun. I've never worked on a video game. Well, twi twice I tried, but they didn't go anywhere, and they were in no way as good as this one. I was also amazed about the team, uh, how how so many people can work together so close, so long, and how they uh, come together. that I'm surrounded by a lot of really smart people who are smart in areas that I have very little experience in. Not, and not, not just computers, but um, like this whole three-dimensional structure of a, of a gaming script. When Rutger first called me to see if I'd be available and interested in doing this, he said, you know, so you know it's for this video game and the character's sort of based on me, maybe a younger version of me, but and, and he gave me a brief idea of the capsule idea of the story, and then he said it would, you know, it would be for a game, and did that sound interesting? Did that sound like fun? And I said, yeah, sure, why not? And then I saw the script. <laughs> it's like... What was it, 250 pages? I said, Rodger, the script is four times longer, three times longer than, than a regular movie script. Um, but that was really, the, you know, that was part of the interesting challenge of it, is trying to keep, keep track of, you know, going backwards and forwards and linking this to that and then this to something else and beginning to understand it. It was, it was a, a challenge in a lot of ways. Hi everyone, I'm Tomasz Bunkowski from the System Redux dev team. Today we'd like to show you an extensive gameplay demo, including the first glimpses of brand new story content. But first, let's take a look at how we use the next-gen power to deliver an even more immersive vision of year 2084. For Observer System Redux, we've rebuilt and upgraded the visuals in practically every aspect. The game uses now improved assets, including 4K textures, new high-quality animations and models, as well as upgraded particle effects and simulations. We've also significantly increased the overall lightning quality across the whole game, with the support of HDR and ray tracing, and thanks to such effects as volumetric lights or global illumination, System Redux delivers a much more atmospheric and impressive depiction of the dark cyberpunk future. Last but not least, we take advantage of the SSDs to massively shorten loading times so that they are mostly unnoticeable for the player. Of course, Observer System Redux will run a 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. Heart rate irregular. Emergency extraction procedure offline. 
Offline. Oh my, God. my name is Daniel Lazarski. I'm an observer. 